Hello guys welcome to mtech viral and in this video I am going to show you another way of creating android instant apps uh, earlier in my another video I have already told you that how can you build your instant app as well as with uh, with the installable app so there is another way of doing that and it is much easier way but the problem is that it is not very clear to you that how this is actually working so if you want to know that how it is actually working then you can switch to my another video uh, which will have a detailed instruction about how you can go into the instant app feature and uh, I'll, I'll provide the link in the description so right now I'm going to show you another way so let's get started so what we have to do you have to open the Android Studio version 3.0 which is the canary build and it is the unstable version right now but uh, if you want to know about uh, more features and uh, new new uh, updates then you can obviously install it so what I am going to do I am going to start a new Android Studio project I have to give the application name here so I'll write anything which can be instant app 2 suppose this is my application name and uh, one more thing guys if you wanna include Kotlin support here then you can check on this mark but it can give you some errors because uh, it is in the unstable version this Android Studio and uh, I have earlier checked that it is giving some errors while uh, including the Kotlin support so you can skip that feature right now because uh, you can opt for this feature in future when uh, a stable version will be there so I'll press next from here and here you have to select the minimum SDK which should be API 23 I guess and uh, uh, there is a checkbox below that which is include Android instant app support so I'm going to click on it and it is just going to do work for me so I'll press next from here and I have to give the name of the module name so I'll give it as a feature and I can give it as main feature okay so if you'll check the package name then it is same then uh, it is having dot main feature so I'll press next and if it is asking if you want to add any activity to your mobile so I'm selecting the uh, basic activity from here I'll press next here I have to give the path so I'll uh, put the root here as slash main and that is how you can use it now I'll, I'm gonna finish it so this is something which is going to give me my instant application as well as the installable application so this is all you have to do you don't have to do anything else apart from this and this is something which uh, which is very uh, good way because Android Studio is giving you the template to work on it and if you don't wanna uh, work on this template you want to build it by yourself then I have another video for you uh, which is available in the description and I'll sync here again and we'll see if it is going to fix my issue yeah so I have this preview here and you can see this is having the text as hello world and I'll just gonna say hello instant app okay so I'm, I'm not going to do anything in with the design right now and uh, we are just focusing on the features so uh, here you can see on the left side I'll, I'll switch to the project mode and here you can see we have the three dark uh, black modules which are app base instant app and main feature so I'm going to tell you about all of them so first one is app which will be our installable app and if you know uh, if you want to know about uh, it more in more detail then you can all, uh, obviously switch to my another video and here is another thing which is base this will consist of the base features of your application and if you will open the build.gradle here then you can see the similar things which you have in the application so basically your app module is not gonna do anything this will have only the details of your implementation project which are two projects which is one is main feature and another is base feature so what you will do you will have everything in the base feature and your main feature features are the modules which will have your activities or your roots for that particular instant app and another thing is uh, another module here is instant app if you will open that then here is just a builder cradle file which is going to provide you an instant application for your application 
so right now if i'll select the run configuration from here from app to instant app we have two option if you will select app then it's going to be a normal application which you use and if i am going to select instant app then i'm going to show you how it works first of all if you have selected the instant app then click on edit configurations and you can see that here is a launch url and the url link so this is what uh, which you will provide to the user and user will click on it and your instant app will be opened and now i'm going to click on the run button and now my gradle is started building my application so now my application is built and you can see hello instant app and if you will press the minimize button and here you can see on the menu that there is no application named as instant app 2 and that's that's because if you will go to recent activities then you can say my application is still there but the thing is that this is an instant application so it does not have to be installed on the user's phone so this is about another way of how you can build instant application so if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and thank you so much